So who had UFOs on their 2024 bingo card? I hope you're doing really well today. I'm here today to discuss a, a new book that I've recently read and um, as I mentioned just before the intro, um, this book covers UFOs. The book that we're talking about today is this one. This is Imminent by Luis Elizondo and um, this is Inside the Pentagon's Hunt for UFOs um, or UAPs as they're called within this book. And um, I mean, wow. As I mentioned, um, I, I don't know who else had UFOs on their 2024 um, bingo card. I did. <laughs> I thought there would be something about aliens would, would, would come out, would come out, and that would be some sort of new news or sort of craze or something. And um, I was right. This book came out and um, I saw it and I pre-ordered it. And I'm not sorry I did. It may come as a surprise to some of you because I am not a fan of sci-fi in the slightest I'm not I'm not a sci-fi reader it's just not my not my cup of tea but I do like real life paranormal spooky weird unexplained events which to me UFOs fall right into that category and it's it's an area that I've always been interested in and something that I used to read a lot about as a kid and um so this book really excited me when I saw that it was being released. And basically the story is a non-fiction account of one man, which is obviously the writer Luis Elizondo, and his journey into working in some of the most top secret areas within the US military in the Pentagon. And he worked for a, a secret sort of sect of the government where they basically investigate UFOs or UAPs as they get called um, and I just yeah I really don't know how else to explain it. I had heard people mention that there was this sect of the government before and it's largely been sort of um, seen as more of a conspiracy theory rather than actual fact whereas um, Lewis has come forward and said that it is fact this area does exist there are areas of the government who are working on dealing with UFO sightings and um, and a lot more, which I found to be absolutely phenomenal that a book came out and, and just actively claimed this. Lewis starts off by telling us that over time, over many, many years, um, UFO sightings and um, all that sort of vein, um, sightings or, or any sort of claim of anything to do with UFOs have been shut down and almost ridiculed by the government. And that has been a sort of a targeted response to try and dissuade the public from being interested in it. And you can sort of, you can see why really when you think about it. I mean, the implications of admitting such beings would exist would be or could be catastrophic. Um, I mean, I, I'm not going to go into it here, but there are obviously so many belief systems that would be rocked. It would almost call completely into question our own place in the universe and everything that that entails. Um, yeah, you can see where I'm going with this. That's something that I don't really want to delve into because it's obviously a very sensitive subject for many. But it was something that just sort of blew my mind that this book was able to come out. And I believe that it went through over a year of being sort of checked and having things redacted and um, just sort of fact checking. And I think there was a lot of research and um, overreading went into this, which obviously made it all the more interesting for me. And I like that this book just delves straight in there and tells us some things that I wouldn't have even imagined. Um, there are obviously a lot of things that are kept secret and he does say in his book at the beginning that there are things that are kept secret and he understands why they are and things are kept secret for a reason, but these are the things that he can tell us. And I mean, it was just, it, it blew my mind. The book absolutely blew my mind. And it, the whole thing isn't all just about UFOs. We go into um, Lewis's childhood, his family background, um, how he got into the job and how he was recruited, which was a very bizarre tangent of its own. But he also delves into UFO phenomena, um, sightings, abductions, um, 
things such as um, microchip implants and things, things that have always really been just there in sci-fi. They're talked about in this book as if they are fact. And like I say, it just, it just blew my mind. It absolutely blew my mind. So if you are into that sort of thing, if you love a bit of non-fiction and you can have an open mind and you want to have your mind blown, I would really recommend Imminent to you. There are some claims within this book that are absolutely shocking and also somewhat terrifying. So if you are of a nervous disposition and the idea of space and potentially life on other planets scares you, or even life on this planet scares you, that could be that, that could that's another theory that they might not actually leave the planet um <laughs> there's a there's a lot in here um and if that sort of thing would frighten you then i would suggest that you don't read it because the way that this book is put forward with it being non-fiction and with some of the things that i read in here um i know that there's one or two of my friends would be pretty scared by this so if that's the kind of thing that sets you on edge and gets you worried um maybe give this one a swerve but if like me you love the strange the weird the macabre the unusual then this is definitely a book that you might want to read so i absolutely adored it i gave it five stars and um i'd love to know if any of you have read it if any of you are going to and um yeah that's all i've got to say on the matter um let me know and i'll speak to you all soon bye for now